What's up guys? Headed out on an ATV camping trip into a new section of uh, land that I've never had a chance to explore. And uh, man, what a beautiful start. Just got done uh, climbing a pretty steep incline and did uh, about a 200 feet elevation gain in uh, probably about a half a mile. Pretty steep uh, incline, but uh, that was a fun one. But yeah, headed out into a new section of a uh, trail that I've never had a chance to explore. I've had a chance to explore uh, the north end, but uh, I'm on the southern end, and so you never know. Sometimes these uh, trails cross paths, and I may end up in an area that uh, I've been before, and you don't know until you get in there and explore uh, where these uh, trails go. But man, that's a beautiful view out in the distance there, isn't that? Love those views, man. They go on for uh, miles and miles and miles. And then uh, you got that beautiful uh, blue uh, sky backdrop paired up against that uh, mountain. And man, can't go wrong with that. That's uh, really awesome. But yeah, I am uh, going to give a hot tent uh, a try tonight. Got one for uh, Christmas. And so, yeah, looking forward to uh, giving that a try here in the... Uh, high desert of New Mexico and it's a beautiful area to be in. It's a blend of uh, cactus, juniper, uh, also uh, some pinon trees and man it's just awesome through here. So uh, hit a trail junction and uh, definitely need to go this way I believe and uh, we'll have to see uh, where this goes but yeah I love these type of adventures where uh, you don't know where the trail goes, you just go and get yourself uh, lost and at the same time uh, found because you're uh, rejuvenating uh, just being out here and away from all the uh, city noise and nonsense that goes back at uh, home and you know how that is guys. <laughs> That's why we all come out here, right? Just to uh, break away from uh, the city life and just escape into the outdoors. I know that's my uh, calling to come out here, definitely. Love being out here in these uh, remote places like this. and Just a, a lot of fun, nonetheless. But yeah, guys, if uh, you're new to this channel and you're watching this video, I uh, want to encourage you guys to uh, subscribe to my channel. Really helps out, guys. You really don't know uh, how much I appreciate it. And I also want to tell my existing subscribers, uh, thank you very much. It's been awesome to have you guys uh, through all these months. And I look forward to uh, putting together more videos and uh, showing you guys some more New Mexico country. And out here in the uh, Chihuahuan Desert, it's a different desert than the uh, Arizona desert. This is more of a high elevation desert. So uh, we are at about uh, 6,800 feet and a low point for this desert is down there uh, below 3,000 feet. And uh, the Sonora Desert out there in Arizona, that's all at about 1,000 feet, uh, maybe 2,000 feet, uh, and who knows what other type of elevation. But out here we get to uh, the Acholi cactus, which is what this is right here. And we also have a prickly pear cactus that could be found out here. And on prickly pear cactus, you could actually uh, eat the fruit on that. So that's pretty cool. Here's something out here, pretty neat. Little pond of water, has some ice on there. Yeah, winter here in uh, the high desert does get cold. Even though it is the desert, but uh, yeah. A little bit of ice in these uh, water pools right here. Got a tank and uh, of course that's a natural water resource. So pretty cool out here. Yep, looking forward to seeing where I could uh, find myself out here and set up camp mention that I uh, don't know uh, anything out here other than I have some roads to navigate through uh, my app that I use and I mentioned that app in another video it's the Gaia app and that's an awesome offline app that uh, works off of GPS coordinates and uh, they do have an app that you could download uh, and actually have more tools so I use the free app version and it's plenty 
for me it's never done me wrong uh, it'll find most roads and of course there's roads that uh, the app doesn't have but the cool thing is is you could actually set waypoints and so if you're going out there and you know you go off the beaten path kind of like I do at least you have a point to reference to get back to and uh, yeah so that that's pretty awesome about that app definitely looks like I hit a little bit of a cattle trail but uh, it looks like they may have taken the old road that was through here just because I see evidence of uh, tire tracks in fact I'm on them right now so let's take this in a little ways and see if we could find a pretty cool place to set up back in there I think that's gonna be uh, the plan for tonight and uh, yeah awesome Yep, these adventures, man, they're awesome. <laughs> Going off the beaten path a little bit on an old road and something about the desert is, uh, you know, when monsoon seasons come in, this stuff gets all flooded out. And so, you know, your roads may become uh, little dried up uh, spring beds that uh, flood during the rainy season, which is between uh, July and uh, up into uh, October so yeah when it's the rainy season out here all these little cracks and crevices they uh, they flood with water uh, probably every other day just because heavy uh, rain swells come in in the afternoon and just dump massive amounts of water so that's why you're seeing uh, this uh, broken up uh, terrain like this in fact uh, you can tell it's real rutted out right through there and uh, it goes all the way through but I do know I'm on the road you just can't uh, make heads or tails of it <laughs> but man it's sure giving me a fun ride to come through here
camp is all set up and uh, campfires lit. Time to enjoy a beer. And uh, I'm looking forward to uh, getting that hot tent to use. But I figure instead of going inside the uh, tent right away, I'm going to enjoy a little outdoor life and just enjoy myself around the campfire. And I figure uh, as soon as I get ready to go to bed, that uh, I'll get that campfire lit in the stove inside the tent and get the uh, tent all nice and warm. But man it's a beautiful afternoon up here or early evening and uh can't go wrong this is my second atv camping trip uh in a month so i'm super stoked and uh yeah we're just on the outskirts of the uh chihuahuan desert uh right up against the mountain so uh got a little snow around here and uh man it's a beautiful uh area to come and spend the night in so good stuff out here guys got the hot tent back here Man, it's uh, beautiful. Here's a quick little look inside the uh, tent here. Got a little stash of wood. Got the uh, stove right there. Looking back is uh, my sleep setup. Yeah, it gets dark here early, 5.30, and I haven't even had dinner yet. But, uh, yeah, it's going to be a cold night. It's already uh, starting to freeze. In fact, uh, you can see through... Uh, the camera there that uh, there's ice crystals already forming on the uh, tent for uh, being 5:30 in the uh, afternoon. Let's go see uh, what the temp is over here. I got uh, my thermometer out this time. So I have the uh, thermometer placed right up here. Let's have a look at it. So uh, it is 21 degrees right now, and it's only 5:30 in the evening. So uh, don't know what we're gonna get down to, but uh, I imagine it's gonna be. Uh, Maybe 10 degrees by the time we wake up. Yeah, it's already getting cold. <laughs> Gotta love the uh, New Mexico high desert, man. Gets cold for being the desert.
that ribeye is cooking nice and good on that grill right there and uh, my potatoes O'Brien are cooking good too you can smell them they smell awesome good evening around the campfire feels good out here So this one here is the uh, Mountain Standard IPA. This is a dang good beer. I've had this one before. And uh, yeah, can't go wrong with this. So I just learned something about my headlamp and uh, it doesn't like cold weather. These are brand new batteries and it's struggling to stay on. It's been powering off about uh, every 10, 20 seconds. Sometimes it goes on, see, there you go. But uh, that's okay. I got a battery pack light right there in the corner and uh, that's doing the job. But I am just enjoying myself around the campfire, uh, having some ice cold beers. It feels good just to uh, enjoy some nightlife. I'll get the uh, hot tent going here in a little bit. I just flipped over the steak, so uh, that should be done here real soon. I don't want it to be well done. I'd rather have kind of like a medium rare. I know those potatoes are done, but uh, yeah, just enjoy myself guys you know it's pretty crazy about uh, 20 30 minutes ago there was a call out there never heard of this type of call so I couldn't even tell you what it was but uh, I shouted back just to let them know that uh, I'm down here in the canyon and I'm pretty sure they moved on but uh, the best way I could describe this call no joke I kid you not I'm sure you've watched that movie Jurassic Park and uh, you know the call that Velociraptor makes that's pretty close to what this call sounded like so uh, if you're watching this video and uh, you know of what type of call that is and like I said it sounds like a velociraptor I know it's not <laughs> that's a ancient prehistoric kind of stuff but uh, that's what the call sounded like and uh, yeah shouted back and so uh, I'm pretty sure they moved on but uh, I claim my uh, territory right here so uh, they better move on that's right <laughs> yeah guys oh man this beer is going down great <laughs> There it is, potatoes O'Brien and a ribeye steak. I am hungry. Ribeye cooked a little longer than I wanted to, but uh, that's okay. It'll still be good, and now it's time to uh, chow into this bad boy. So uh, here's my first bite of this delicious looking steak, man. Mm. Damn, that's good. Mm-hmm. Some potato O'Brien. <laughs> that is awesome, guys. Man, that is freaking awesome. Man, I'll tell you what. Cooking meals in a foil pack on a fire, it's there's just something about it that uh, everything comes out nice and soft, well done, and you still get like that baked filling because it's nice and crispy. Man, it's good stuff. Heck yeah, awesome. Love it. Mm-hmm. Man, that fire is feeling good. I could feel the heat from right here. So I just finished uh, winterizing a few things for the evening and I thought I'd go check on the temp and uh, right now we're at uh, 13 degrees and it's uh, just after 8 o'clock. We got a full moon which is awesome. I'd show you guys but uh, of course uh, cameras don't do good at night or at least this one doesn't but uh, man I am going to enjoy another beer around the uh, campfire right here and then I am going to go inside the uh, tent hang out in there and uh, light up that stove and uh, get nice and warm and just hang out and just you know go to sleep to the sound of a crackling fire that's going to be a great sound I'll tell you what all 
All right, guys, I made it over to the tent, and uh, man, as you could tell, it is freezing inside of this tent. Look at all those ice crystals just behind my head. It is uh, insane how uh, much ice there is. It's just crazy, but uh, yeah, you can see it sparkling. But uh, let's get this uh, hot stove going and uh, warm up in here, man. I have a feeling that uh, all this ice is going to drip off uh, moisture, so might have to bring my bag in a little bit from the edges here so that way uh, my bag stays uh, dry for the night but uh, I'm prepared and that's all that matters guys so uh, let's do this let's light it up alright guys hot tin is uh, up and going and man it feels good this uh, stove is already kicking off some heat so Yep, feels good, man. Time to lay in bed and just relax by this nice hot fire. What's up guys? Good morning. I just went outside and checked the temp and uh, we got down to 7 degrees so it was a cold night. Stove is lit and the tent's already feeling nice and warm this morning. Water's on to boil for some coffee and the cup of coffee that I'm going to have this morning, this is actually a gift from a local YouTuber that goes by the name of One Man's Odyssey. He does some backpacking videos, uh, he also does uh, backcountry beer reviews and uh, yeah, I enjoy his channel writes his own music for his uh, uh, music background so yeah good guy out there guys and uh, yeah I would just want to say Nathan thank you very much this coffee is outstanding man I uh, been putting it to the side just so I could bring it out here and uh, have it on one of my trips so brought my uh, coffee grounder and now it's just time to uh, crack up some coffee beans and uh, enjoy a nice uh, hot cup of coffee on a cold morning here in the uh, high desert of New Mexico so yeah good stuff guys so this is coffee beans from a coffee roaster that goes by the name of cup of Joe out of North Carolina this here is the uh, Kenya coffee and man this is good coffee guys if you guys like uh, fresh roasted coffee go and check these guys out cup of Joe So for breakfast, I figured I'm going to keep it easy. I'm just going to eat some beef jerky with my coffee. And uh, this is green chili beef jerky, and it's dang good stuff. It's made here in uh, Albuquerque, New Mexico. Man, that sun is already feeling good. It's warmed things up real quick. That's one thing about the, the New Mexico high desert. 
gets cold at night, but uh, in the daytime it warms up and it doesn't take long uh, before you start to feel that sun. So, uh, yeah, I think today will get up to about uh, 45, maybe 50 degrees, and uh, it'll warm up just fine. Feels good out here. Oh, man, that's some good coffee. Again, thank you, Nathan. That is awesome. guys we are leaving camp and uh, let's go have a look around over here I've actually been to this uh, location right here uh, at a trail ride that I did uh, not long ago and uh, yeah let's go take a quick little peek at a old little uh, homestead or cabin whatever you want to call it that's uh, tucked back in here but uh, yeah I actually approached this from a different direction I came down from uh, the south end and when I came through here the uh, first time around, I approached it from uh, the north end, so yeah, this is pretty cool. I didn't know uh, some of these trails actually went that far south, but uh, there's a whole section of trail that I still need to learn out here that's uh, more this direction, uh, so yeah, that'll be another time to come out here, but yeah, this uh, homestead is right back in here, or cabin, whatever you want to call it, but uh, yeah, some... Somebody was living here at once upon a time. But uh, yeah, that's pretty dang cool. Yeah, if you've been following my channel, uh, you've definitely uh, seen this before. But uh, yeah, always fun to come and check out these old uh, places. video that I filmed in this uh, area I had mentioned that I wanted to come and do a quick little ATV camping trip back in here and yeah I actually uh, came back and did it I didn't know I was gonna come here but uh, it ended up being that way so that was pretty dang cool that uh, check something off the uh, list that I had uh, planned but uh, I also mentioned that uh, there's some history about this location and uh, yeah it's rich in history so there's a uh, Abu Mission ruins that uh, isn't too far from here and so a lot of uh, Spaniards used to come and uh, set up shop around here and they used to build uh, homesteads and different things and live off the land and actually uh, the Abu ruins that I'm talking about is a pretty big uh, missionary or uh, whatever you want to call it but uh, yeah a lot of people used to live there and so that place uh, along with the other places through here they used to get raided a lot by the uh, uh, either the Apache Indians or uh, the Mascalero Indians and so it drove that uh, uh, population of people out of this area just because of the uh, consistent raids that used to happen so I'm sure there's a uh, some more history about this location I'm pretty sure there's a burial out here somewhere it's just a matter of finding one due to uh, all the people that uh, died during that uh, time frame from the Indian raids but yeah it's a beautiful area through here nonetheless and there, there's so many trails out here in fact uh, I was looking at my map system which I had mentioned the Gaia GPS map and so there's a different road that uh, I'm going to take out 
And so the road that I came in on uh, actually took me uh, a different route. And yeah, that wasn't even on the uh, app. So all I know is I was taking a road and, you know, it just kept branching onto different roads. And, you know, the natural explorer in me or adventure in me was like, hey, <laughs> let's keep on going down this road. Never know what you're going to come into. And, you know, that's uh, what I like about uh, getting out and just adventuring and exploring. You know, you, f you learn about places uh, such as this uh, cabin back here or homestead. And I'm sure there's more uh, within this area. It's just a matter of taking these roads and finding them. So, yeah, it just means I need to come back and uh, check out some roads again. All in all, man, it was a great night of camping. Got a little cold last night, but uh, that hot tent uh, performed really, really well. I probably woke up about uh, every two hours and just added some wood to the stove and it uh, really heated up the tent pretty nice. I'd be curious to know uh, what the peak temp was uh, within that tent. If I had to take a guess, it was probably at about uh, uh, 50 degrees, maybe a little more, who knows. Uh, you don't know until you uh, put a thermometer in there. I suppose I could have took the one that I had outside uh, checking the temp out there because I was curious just how uh, cold it was going to get uh, in the uh, high desert. So, yeah, where I was camping at is butted up against the uh, Cibola National Forest, but uh, beautiful range through here nonetheless. Coming in yesterday, definitely hit a different trail than I am on right now. So I saw uh, an area where I saw my tire marks uh, from yesterday. So I decided to go left instead of going right. So this is all a uh, new uh, area for me on the uh, backtrack to uh, where I parked my uh, vehicle. But uh, this is an awesome trail to uh, be on as well. Plus it gives me an opportunity to learn more of what the uh, trail systems through this area actually look like. Alright guys, I could definitely see uh, my end point inside. I could see the gate uh, across the way uh, from this valley. So just got to drop into this canyon climb out of this canyon and go into uh, the next canyon and uh, that's where I'm actually parked at but uh, man these uh, drop offs they're pretty god dang steep man it's a shame that uh, GoPro doesn't uh, show just how steep these drop offs are how uh, steep these climbs are but uh, yeah take my word man they're very steep So I wonder what's on the other side of this fence line. I imagine it's more uh, public land just because there's nothing marked that says uh, private property. So yeah, just means there's more to explore that way. on a trail like this you know I get the strong impression of being like in the uh, wild wild west and that's pretty much what uh, this state's known for it's just the old wild wild west we used to have uh, Billy the Kid and uh, Apache Kid and you know a handful of other uh, rough riders that used to run and wreck havoc through uh, New Mexico so I think when I came in yesterday, not, I'm not going to say think, I went up this way and uh, caught some trails that went off that way, so yeah, definitely did a round tripper for sure, so, but it was good to see uh, what was off this direction as well, but uh, yeah, we got, uh, oh, there it is, oh no, we got to go over here, <laughs> I guess I could have went up that way, guess somebody's starting to make a shortcut. 
going up that direction. I don't know that I approve of that because, uh, yeah, this road's perfectly fine to go uh, around like I did. But, uh, yeah, that's how uh, off-roaders develop a bad name is, you know, people cut trails uh, where they shouldn't cut trails. And, yeah, just, just as easy as that, you know, went around the corner. It wasn't even that far out of the way. So, yeah, just be respectable, guys, as off-roaders that... Uh, you know, if there's no trails, don't uh, go beating your own trails down just because uh, that definitely gives us a bad name out here. But, uh, yeah, just be smart about what we're doing out here. That's that's all. It's just, it's easy. So, yeah, this is that gnarly drop-off, man. It is steep as heck. <laughs> Thankfully, I got a nice uh, engine brake just to guide myself down. But uh, you can see the drop off below, man. That's uh, a good uh, 200, 300 feet down. I think I said 200 feet, but uh, I don't know exact uh, elevation gain. I just know it's uh, steep as heck. But uh, another thing is, uh, yeah, just uh, close the gate. It's as easy as that. So just do our parts out here, guys. Keeps these uh, public lands open for uh, you and I to use, and yeah. Nothing, nothing to it. Didn't even take a long time to uh, get that all locked up. But man, let's do it. Yeah, look at the view down there. <laughs> and look at the cliff that I'm up against. Got to roll about a good uh, 150 feet down. Get some speed. Yeah. So that first little drop off wasn't bad. Hit a little mesa or shelf, whatever you want to call it. I got one more drop off. But there's a look back up uh, where I came from straight through. Awesome. Beautiful view down into the valley. I hope you guys could see that. Uh, hopefully it's not uh, too sun washed because I'm headed right into the sun. And you got like this nice cliff side up here. Man, it's a beautiful little stretch to drop off from up there, man. Awesome. But yeah, it's a steep hill. I'm trying to stop and I can't. There we go. <laughs> yeah, drop off from up there, man. Didn't take no long, no time and I've already dropped some elevation. Yeah, you probably wouldn't want to come on this road if it was raining. Looks like it gets uh, pretty washed out, so I'll rut it out right there on the uh, side of me. And I'm pretty sure this road gets uh, because it gets to become a nasty mess because uh, this is all combination of clay and uh, rock. So that clay is absolutely s slick stuff. So yeah, that stuff will take you in a ditch and flip you over. It'll just be a mess, man. Plus that stuff is hard to take off your four-wheeler. Some nasty mud, I'll tell you. So I dropped off the uh, secondary uh, drop-off. Get into a little flat over here. 
and I got uh, one more drop off to uh, go through and I should be at the bottom of this. So yeah, that's crazy man. Very steep drop off in just a short amount of time. <laughs> My arm's got to work out there. Had a whole half mile coming down that grade with just uh, basically stuck in a push-up position. <laughs> it's just pushing my body up on the bike. So yeah, there's another trail that goes this way too, but I'm parked off this way. So man, just just means I got to come out here and tour some more, man. It's it's beautiful country, that's for sure. But yeah guys, I'm not far from uh, my vehicle, in fact I can see it out in the distance. I'll part way with you guys right now, so I hope you guys are taking care of yourselves and that your families are all well during this uh, pandemic. Seems like uh, we're going through a second wave of uh, this uh, nasty stuff again, and then of course there's that uh, mutated version, so yeah, just do you take care of yourselves guys, do yourselves a favor and yeah, take care of yourselves, your family, your friends, and you know, just be healthy, guys. That's that's what's important, and uh, take care of one another. So, yeah, until the next one, guys, I'll see you on the outside. You guys take care of yourselves. I'm out.